So what I've done is I've got the old case. I've taken out the motherboard, video card, power supply, and a few other components. All right, I've just come back from the post office and today what arrived in the mail was this. This lovely people is what's called a controller board. A controller board takes the input from your HDMI from your computer, or in this case, display port, and helps to transform it into a usable image for a screen. Now you may be asking, why do I have this? Well, I've got over here, and excuse the messy office, an old 27 inch iMac. It's a 2010 model. Um, and unfortunately, it no longer works. But the screen is still good. And at the moment, I only have one display on my computer, and I wanted two, because I do a little bit of video editing, and I like to watch YouTube at the same time. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna put it together right after I clean up this tape. And through the magic of cinematography, the desk is clean. So first things first, I'm gonna have to make sure it all works um, when I plug it in. So what you get is you get this board. Now, this is for the electric power for the screen, which plugs into here. This part here, however, is what actually takes the signal and transfers it. And that plugs into a little connector just under here that you can barely see. Then this has got the on and off function and a few other functions which you don't really have to worry about when you do um, the setup. Um, your I.O. on this is display port and then it's got a uh, power input for the PC. I've got a power brick here from an old laptop which I've confirmed matches exactly what the um, output needs of 19 volts and 4.7 I've also um, plugged that in just to make sure the light comes on and works. So, now we just need to set it all up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install these and I'm going to test just to make sure that they work before I go and put the whole unit together. Confirm gold pins go up, not down. So push that in and gently make sure it clips in. Not to be too rough with it though, otherwise you could break it. Okay, next. Put that on there. Now, I want to make sure this turns on, but I also don't want this short circuiting against the metal um, and destroying the inverter or possibly even the screen. So what I'm going to do going to get a box. The box came in actually. Take it apart a bit. I'm going to put the power into this one. And I shall put the inputs into this box. Put that one just over here. Yeah. Plug it in. This will hopefully turn the screen on, which I'll demonstrate. Ah, yes. It won't turn on yet because I don't have the display port plugged in and this needs a display port registry. Okay. Alright, well, I've um, 
plug my computer in over here and wait for a boot up sequence to go through and we'll see if uh, the monitor works. The light on here has changed. And, I don't know if you can see this, but the screen has lit up. Which means, we have success. Now let's wait for my computer to finish its boot up and give me some signal. Okay, so I have image on there, and I should, in theory, have image on here, yeah. but I don't, so I wonder why. Thing it might be because I have to set up a second screen on here. Okay, have another look. Excellent. Okay, it seemed to work. Awesome. Now I'll put it into a case and go from there. So what I've done is I've got the old case. I've taken out the motherboard, video card, power supply, and a few other components, just to make some room, because they're not really needed now that it's dead. So what I've done is I've run the cables up into the case, that I'm gonna need. I've put, I've hot glued components that uh, are now needed onto plastic parts. Very important, if you do this, it goes onto the plastic. If not, you could short circuit um, your controller board. <sighs> oh, excuse me, I've got a bit of hay fever at the moment. <laughs> um, now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to Secure this with hot glue onto the outside of the case. That way I have access to the on and off button. All right, I'll do that now and we'll see the end result. There we go, screen's put on. It's a bit of a mess back there, but I had to make sure that um, the hot glue made enough space to prevent the um, bottom part of the chip making contact with the aluminum frame. And after all that, moment of truth is, it works. Hmm. A little bigger than what I'd like, so I'll have to change the settings, but yeah, that's it. I'll put the links to what I used in the description below. Thanks. It's been two weeks since I got the um, controller board for the new monitor. Having used it, it's been good. It's been very helpful. But, would I recommend it? Not really. If you've got the screen there and you're not going to be doing too much with it, sure, it'd be fine. But for what I want to use it for, I need to have better resolutions available to me. The highest resolution available is 720p. Um, and for a 27 inch screen, that is ridiculous. It's not the screen, it's the controller board that's controlling that function. and the, most it's allowing is um, 720p. Uh, it's a nice image. You can't control the brightness either, which also doesn't help. Um, yeah, for $70 though, it turned an old useless computer into something that's usable. Um, but again, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, I'd recommend buying a actual uh, screen.
uh, unless the controller board can somehow be changed, I haven't been able to find a way to do that yet. Um, yeah. But again, like I said, it does what it's supposed to do for now, and when I get a bit more money, I'll just buy another monitor and use that as a backup in case something happens. Cool. Thanks. Bye.